Welcome to Module 4, where we will brainstorm ways to get to your ideal future. You'll make your vision a reality by drawing on your networks and by plotting key milestones to reach your objectives. Our first exercise in Module 4 is called the Crowd Clover. It's a four-leafed clover, which in many cultures is a symbol of good luck. With this exercise, you will make your own good luck by realizing just how many people you know who can help you make your dream a reality. Hello, we're back to pen and paper again. This time our framework is slightly trickier to draw. Just think of it as four hearts connected at their points. And the clover's stalk is you or your organization. I'll put here Michelle Fraser Consulting. Okay, so each of these clover leaves is a particular type of stakeholder group in the overall network of people and organizations that support your work. You have the catalysts. These are people who you go to for inspiration. They energize you with new insights and possibilities. Another group are the connectors. These are people, groups, or organizations who can help you grow your idea or effort. They do this by providing access to other partners, suppliers, funders, or resources. The third group are the enablers. That's this leaf here. And these people help you to realize your idea by getting you to take action. They might support you to get things done or just push you to stop procrastinating. Finally, you have your promoters who will broadcast your idea and circulate it and tell everybody about you or your organization. And they'll share that all with other networks, helping you to win more supporters and participants in making your idea a reality. All together, these people and organizations will help your idea come alive. You can include all types of relationships, from family to co-workers to clients, and even people you know online. I'm going to start with my catalysts. I'm inspired by watching how entrepreneurs like Bongi deal with adversity. She's definitely one of my catalysts, Bongi. Well, my husband is also an entrepreneur, and he is one of my best sounding boards. Yes, you can include people who are close to you, even your kids. My husband is Arthur. I've also seen so many good responses to COVID-19 bubbling up from the entrepreneurial ecosystem. I'm just gonna put your entrepreneurial ecosystem for now. I can always come back and add in more detail later. Let me move to my connectors. Well, Fraser Consulting has a good connection with the Southern African Innovation Support Program, led by Ilary, the project team. It's led by Ilary, who is a client of ours. So remember, connectors are people who can provide access to resources and one way to describe a client is someone who connects us with resources like funding. Another great client is the UK South Africa Tech Hub. And our key contact there is Shirley. I also know that they're offering a rapid response fund for COVID related projects, which could be perfect for financing our program Express Expert. We also have Helen. 
who is a friend who could introduce us to people in the coaching space. Now let's look at enablers. Well, of course, there's the phrase a consulting team who are all energetic, capable people who help each other to get things done. Then thinking about this program, which aims to build entrepreneurs' emotional resilience, who could help us get this done? Helen introduced us to a great coaching team called Factor 10. They would be a great help on the personal resilience stream of Express Expert. Then Fraser Consulting recently used a book by Marnus Burtrake in a resources pack we produced. His company, The Bean Counter, The Bean Counter, would be perfect partner to get the accounting experts on board. Hmm. Right, now, people are gonna hear all about the program through our promoters. We've worked with a PR company called The Loud Hailer before. The Loud Hailer. They've got great channels to share this program on. Future females. And our connection there is Lauren. Is also a team we've worked with who have a vibey network of business owners to share this program with. Neil of Koi is an acquaintance who will share the Express Expert program with his huge group of entrepreneurs on Facebook. Then there's Heavy Chef, led by Fred. And they have a popular newsletter and they would be happy to tell people about Express Expert. And we have a relationship with the technology innovation agency, TIA, who would also tell their networks about Express Expert, I'm sure. And I could keep going, but you get the picture. Once you've filled your clover with names of people and organizations, you may want to go through it and color code which relationships are formal and which are informal. These are my informal ones. See, Arthur, Helen, Neil. This is where I'm freer to explore opportunities without the pressure of being professional or measured. Understanding these differences will help you decide on stakeholder engagement strategy for each cloverleaf, or whether you need either more formal or more informal contacts in any area. Another thing to reflect on is whether you have found one of the clover leaves particularly difficult to fill. If you're short of connectors, you're going to find it hard to rally the resources you need to execute on your idea. Or if you struggle to think of promoters, you're going to find it difficult to reach scale with your idea because you won't have enough supporters. This means that you need to go out and actively find connectors and promoters. Try asking people in your existing network to introduce you to new connections. You'll be surprised at how many people can help you. So start mapping your crowd clover now. <laughs>